one say ki one kilowatts or two kilowatts. We have this range is your speech range, 300 hertz to 3.4 kilowatts, minimum to maximum frequency range. So this is your modulating signal here. This is your carrier signal. Note down the frequency. See here now. What is the importance of triggering? This is your modulating signal here that is connected to channel two. So. trigger that channel 2. Yeah, that signal is connected to channel 2 and trigger that. That is nothing but your carrier signal. So this is your carrier signal. Note down the amplitude. Amplitude also fix. And frequency also fix. Though here it is 455 kilohertz. Some, in some cases it may be greater. It, it, it may be less. It may happen. So note down the frequency of this carrier signal. Ideally it is 455 kilohertz. So this is your modulating. This is your carrier. And here have to generate the DSPS system. This is your modulating, this is your carrier. Just remove this triggering so that, so that I can observe both the signals here. Modulating carrier at this point and the output of this balance modulator, this IC is here. 1496 IC is there, balance modulator IC. Here you have to generate the DSBSC signal. So what is the use of this port? You have to keep the amplitude, you have to keep the envelope same. This is your envelope should be same. Positive and negative. Positive and negative. At this point, at the zero crossing, we have the phase reversal of 180 degree. So what is the so this is your DSBSC signal. With the help of this spot, I have to keep the amplitude. DSBSC signal. Match here we have the 180 degree situation. Same signal you have to observe it. Frequency domain. Second channel. Yeah? Same si this is the signal in time domain. Same signal you have to observe in frequency domain. That is, that is something about your DSVSC signal. This is your DSVSC signal. Same signal you have to observe in frequency domain. Operation FFT. Source is your channel 1. Address the horizontal position. This is your main component. The others are the harmonics. Okay. So address the time scale. Zoom it. Again zoom it. See, this is proper. What is this? The spectrum of DSBSC. And then stop it. This is your requirement. So, the carrier component which having the lesser amplitude compared to the pair of sidebands. So carrier is suppressed but the suppression is not 100%. So it is 45 dB suppression is there. 45 dB suppression of the carrier. Again note down the amplitude and frequency. Again this is FC which is partially suppressed. FC plus FM, FC minus FM. So in case of DSBSC power saving is more. Bandwidth is same. Bandwidth of AM and DSBSC it is same. But the power saving is more in this case because we are suppressing the carrier signal. Because if you consider the carrier signal doesn't convey any information. Information is contained in the two pairs of sidebands. And both the sidebands contain the same information. Okay. So that's why that third form is your SSB form. In which as both the sidebands they are images of each other. We can trans convey the information by transmitting only one of the sidebands. It may be USB. It may be LSB depending upon the application. So that's why that case is your SSBSC case. So again using cursor, operation is your frequency. This is your carrier signal. So 
when you have this practical dsbsc generation okay so in that case by default you have to plot the time domain as well as the frequency domain representation of x that difference is here what is the frequency it is 2.3 or 2.2 2.3 again at the right, right side that difference is again same 2.3 we can cross check at the set check the frequency of the modulating signal Modulating frequency is 2.3. That get match with your. When we observe the spectrum, that difference is again 2.3. So modulating frequency is your 2.3. So this is your modulating signal. And whenever you plot the waveform, first waveform should be your the modulating signal. Then second is your carrier signal. ऐसे नहीं कि पहले carrier निकाला उसके बाद में modulating निकाला ऐसे नहीं निकाला है. For every time, first should be your modulating, then your carrier. And then you are modulated signals. So Thank you. 